Thanks again for checking in as we take a look at your extreme weather outlook and we're still tracking that heavy snow across the midsection of the nation. Wrapping up though as we take you through the day and slotting east that is uh, of course bringing with it some very strong winds. So blizzard warnings continue in Illinois and Wisconsin. That heavy snow will begin to develop in the northeast over the next 24 to 36 hours and we do expect to see maybe some strong severe weather in uh, portions of Florida. So heavy snow wrapping up in Illinois maybe a few leftover snow showers uh, early on today, but the winds are going to be very strong. So again, still some travel issues. If you do have uh, travel plans in Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, again, that's where we had all that heavy snow, even into southeastern Wisconsin. But anywhere from 6 to near 12-inch snowfall amounts and those winds anywhere from 30 to 40 plus miles per hour, causing uh, blizzard conditions there. And look at all the heavy snow that is expected to fall in the northeast from near Erie all the way to the northern New England states and some spots up here could pick up close to 15 inches of snow as we take you through the next couple of few days. Very heavy rain along the coast from Boston to New York and the Delmarva Peninsula. But again, overnight tonight into Tuesday, and even Wednesday, that heavy snow will be developing there. Could see some one plus inch liquid tallies from Portland, Maine, all the way down to New York City. Even some heavy precipitation amounts in Buffalo and Erie, Pennsylvania. There's your marginal severe threat south of Jacksonville to near Tampa and Fort Myers. Looks like damaging winds will be the primary threat along with some locally heavy rain within those areas and temperatures in Florida will be quite mild but the midsection of the nation cold again on the back side of that blizzard you can see readings 15 to almost 20 degrees below average there goes that colder air mass pushing east we are warm now in the uh, western U.S. but the extended outlook into early December suggests that we are going to be colder than average with uh, wetter than average conditions developing in the central U.S. in early December as well have a good one